There's been mud on my soul. There's been anger inside me. There's still unforgiven deeds that now it's time to free. I've been trapped inside so long. Don't remember how to live. How much of life has passed me by as I slept inside my dreams. Oh yes, sip the waters too. Let them wash all over you. waiting the journey has already begun but at time seems very tough very difficult there are no shortcuts the path is same challenging and yet the hope and yet a feeling that one day we'll reach the destination in the path of spirituality you cannot become master in a day but it seems that to become master is the easiest thing to become disciple to become follower to become a sadhak to become a seeker is tough on the surface it appears that master is doing nothing and it is the easiest job whilst all others are working hard a person comes to the master and asks i want to realize the truth how much time it will take he takes he says long time maybe 10 years the seeker says 10 years is a big time i don't have that much time i am in hurry i will work day and night i'll burn the midnight lamp i'll not sleep i will not eat i'll just devote myself to the purpose then how much time i will need the master says then 20 years the disciples the follower the seeker asks then what is easy to become a disciple or to become a master and he further asks okay what one has to do if one has to become a master the master says nothing for becoming master you don't have to do anything for becoming a disciple you have to do so many things 
and the seeker says okay then i want to become master but he is forgetting master to become master is the end result of all your efforts he appears to do nothing but to do nothing takes great strength to just sit silently is the greatest miracle doing nothing because we have been habituated to do something we just can't sit and do nothing doing nothing is perhaps the greatest of all the efforts because we want to do something sitting silently and doing nothing making the mind still is to become master a man makes friendship with the owner of the orchestra he is a half witted man and one day he says to the friend i want to join your orchestra the owner says oh so you know music i didn't know that which instrument you can play the man says i do not know music rather i don't know a single word about music or song but i can see there is one who has a stick and he keeps on waving it doing nothing i can become that because that thing i can do because that involves doing nothing on the surface it appears that that man is not doing anything but that is the hardest of all tasks our mind seeks the path of least resistance the mind wants no effort but the highest destination involves highest efforts the surgeon comes singing into the operation theater easy happy go lucky everything is ready he comes and operates sings and goes away it appears that he is doing nothing he is just enjoying and getting paid for just singing but his is the hardest task before you come to the point of no mind before you to come to the point of doing nothing before you come to the point of sitting still you have to go through turbulence then only you arrive otherwise not so there is always an eagerness always an enthusiasm to reach the top but it will not come in two ticks it takes effort it takes lot of patience we often heard this song in murli dheeraj dar yan yet the mind says i hardly can't wait patience infinite patience is needed in the path of spirituality a patient that needs no ending that knows no ending the journey is begun now there is a long waiting period before you reach the destination the journey of conquering each passion the journey of conquering each desire the journey of conquering each vice 
the journey of rediscovering yourself it's a long drawn out journey patients are of two types what they can be two types of patients dheeraj what they can be yes hmm patients dheeraj there are two types of patients one which is never ending another which ends what else hmm you know baba what baba does he keeps on dividing things and presenting new classifications in every murli two types of this and three types of that four types of this and five types of that when you classify the mind gets time to think to churn so what could be the two types of patients or rather what could be the types of patients yeah short patients and long patients yesterday also baba divided he said one is sada always and another is sometimes and baba doesn't like the word sometimes if you want to become intense effort maker you should have remove from your dictionary the word sometimes you should be happy all the time the happiness should reflect on your face your face should reveal the happiness your face should reveal the father because the world is in sorrow the world is in suffering and the suffering and the sorrow and the pain and the misery of the world is increasing day by day in this world of misery the planet earth is soaked in misery there is so much misery now there is no more time people how they don't have time to listen to you and how much you will speak how many speeches you will deliver so one is sometimes and another is always so these are the two types of happiness and if you don't have happiness then what to do from yesterday's evening murli no you don't have happiness so what you will do there is a poverty of happiness in your heart yeah take from the father and then distribute keep on distributing keep on distributing be a donor of happiness the more you distribute the more it comes back to you this is spiritual economics spiritual mathematics spiritual finance is different so what could be the type of patients hmm always patient and sometime patient this is a general classification patients are of two type positive patients and negative patients negative patients means you are waiting but you become lazy we will see it will come it will come hope is lost but but you are still okay you have found out ways and means you have become lethargic you don't know even what you are waiting for you know in english there is a most famous play waiting for godot there are two persons in that play standing at the station and they are waiting in the whole drama godot never comes but the entire discussion is about godot that he will come but who is he what is he when he will come and why they are waiting that is not discuss but this is a huge philosophical drama an extremely famous drama rather they say it is one of the most important dramas in english literature waiting for godot there is a huge philosophical discussion between the two people who are there who are waiting but they don't know who is godot and nobody knows and the book never tells who is godot but the name is still there again and again again and why they are waiting for whom they are waiting when he will come and what is the purpose of waiting that's not mentioned but the play goes on the discussion goes on 
waiting for Godot. So negative waiting, negative patience is like we don't know what are we waiting for. But the waiting is eternal. But the waiting is going on. Positive patience. Positive patience is hopeful. Positive patience is clear and distinct. So vivid. Conspicuous. You can see things as they are. You know that I am waiting for him. In fact, the negative patient is an escape mechanism. You say that I am waiting for God. And God will come. But you know inside that he is never going to come. Because you do not know him. That's negative patience. You have missed the target. And you have found out some other ways. That is negative patience. Positive patience, you know. Negative patience has invented temples. Oh, temple is, God is in the temple. Negative patience has invented religions. But you follow this, that, you get God. It appears so beautiful on the surface, but it is flimsy. Entire concept is wishy-washy. Positive patience means real patience. Positive patience means you are waiting and yet you know that things will happen. Negative patience means you become hopeless somewhere within. And negative patience is then uh, is an act of inertia. Here you are active. Positive patience means you have not stopped working. One is that I am waiting. I am not doing anything. This is negative. You have become lazy. You have become hopeless. Or rather you are become showy. Here you are extremely active. You are working hard. It appears. But there is a deep sense of patience within. It is a waiting but a patient waiting. It's a waiting, but waiting with hope, with interest, with activeness, alert you are. There is no moment of sleep or slumber in this waiting. So Baba says, Dheeraj, have faith. You have begun the journey. The journey is difficult accepted. In yesterday's Murli, only if you say, Baba just focused only on one word, happiness. Are Brahmins happy? The world is unhappy, accepted. And the unhappiness and the sorrow is increasing. But are Brahmins happy? Baba said, you have got God in the form of father, in the form of teacher, in the form of guru. You have got this inheritance. Varsa. You have got the treasure of Gyan that frees you from the bondage and that destroys your unhappiness. You have got the treasure of Yoga that gives you the power of all the powers. You have got the third subject of Dharna wherein you have got all the virtues. You have got time and time is one of the greatest treasures. In this treasure you have got God. He is your father, your teacher and your preceptor. You have got inheritance, you have got this Brahmin family, which is so loving and detached. So Baba is happy to see your happiness. But are we happy? Baba says, I don't like the word sometimes. Remove this word sometimes from your dictionary. This is not the word that exists in the lexicon of God. He doesn't love this word. He loves only one word, always. He doesn't like the word single, he likes the word double. The million dollar question is same. Are we happy? Baba says, I want to see you happy. Children say that, okay, we are happy, but sometime during karma, we are not unhappy. Baba says, remind yourself who you are. You are karma yogis. Yog means your yoga is with God. I am using this body. I am detached. I am loving child of God. Paramatma Pyari. Largely. I am that beloved child of God. I am doing this work. Whether you are doing or whether you are not doing. Whether you are in karma, action or inaction. 
the stage remains the same you are karma yogi yoga means your intellect's yoga is is with him you are connected with him all the time you wake up you are connected with him you are taking bath you are connected with him you walk you are connected with him you move you are connected with him you sit in yoga you are connected with him you come out you sit in murli in classes you are connected in you have lot of classes and baba also hears the classes he said yesterday you eat and you are connected you drink and you are connected you speak and you are connected you do not speak and you are connected you sit still and you are connected you do something and in nothingness in not doing you are connected you sleep and you are connected you wake up and you are connected you speak you come in relationships you do seva in while talking with nepal group baba said god is with you just keep moving and make others move patience eternal patience when you know that this is the only path when you know that this is the only right way just continue the journey without getting tired without complaining without grumbling about things knowing that we will become successful one day god is with me nothing can be against me himmat ki madad the help of courage will come from god what he gives you help help of what courage this path is definitely difficult that's why have that patience patience means complete trust patience means 100% faith patience means fearlessness patience means complete confidence patience means active inside and outside it appears you are not doing anything a person asks another person what does your master do the whole day we doesn't we don't see him doing anything he comes in the morning he gives lecture one hour he goes to his room and gives lecture again in the evening but what he does the whole day is he busy reading books and preparing for the lectures does he have a huge stock of library inside his house what your master does the fellow disciple says my master doesn't do anything he just sits on the chair that's it but he must be doing something he says nothing he does he just closes his eyes sitting buddha and doesn't do anything he doesn't read but when he speaks it is electrifying from where that churning comes from where that power comes it doesn't come by reading it comes sit witness witnessing is the greatest meditation they say sakshi you don't do anything you just witness in yesterday's murli also it was not spoken but while talking with bridge mohan bhai baba said watch this drama as a witness that's it you don't have to do anything sakshi things will happen you keep yourself safe things will happen as they have to happen you don't have to do anything just be a detached observer sakshi witness witness the polarities witness don't stop doing things sit and watch sit and watch sit and watch your own part sit and watch parts of others sit and watch this drama what is going on in this drama enjoy but you can enjoy this drama only when you are detached the moment you touch the moment you get involved the moment you say something moment you intervene the moment you try to intercept the beauty is lost patience is eternal beauty 
पेशेंस इज सत्यम एंड पेशेंस इज शिवम एंड पेशेंस इज सुंदरम ओम शांति